Access Service Plans through Settings. Click Billing and Financial. Select Service Plans. Click Add Service Plan. Select the service type. For this example, we will select Flat Fee. Enter the plan name for the service type. Enter the billing information, billing period, unit price, and quantity, as in the number of workstations, laptops, and servers covered under the service plan. For this example, we will enter a monthly flat fee of $1,000 for 10 units. Rates do not apply to flat fees, so skip the rate section. Apply an SLA policy if there is one in place, and click the Save icon at the top of the pane. The new service plan now appears on the screen. When creating a service plan with an hourly service type, a default rate is required. Click Add Rate and enter a name for the rate and the rate amount. Click Save New Rate. To add additional rates, for instance weekend or holiday work, enter the rate name and amount. Click the Save icon at the top of the pane. An hour retainer service type applies to a block of time purchased by the customer. The work will vary depending on the customer's IT needs, for example, patching, antivirus, or general IT services. In this example, we are creating a service plan for general IT services with a monthly retainer period for a 12-month contract. The customer wants 10 hours of general IT services a month. In this example, the rate is 50 US dollars per hour, with an overage rate of 100 US dollars per hour. The retainer amount equals 500 USD. The customer will pay the retainer amount of 500 USD at the beginning of each month to retain the MSP's general IT services. Setting period grouping permits the rollover of any unused hours for the period. For example, if period grouping is set to quarterly, you can roll over unused hours to another month within the quarter. Select one of the period grouping options from the drop-down list. Refer to the online documentation available on the Partner Success Center.